Welcome to another episode of the Unbound Book Babes. Today, we are going to be talking about and introducing the Unbound Book Club, our book club on Buy Us a Coffee. Lost in the pages, we wander the trees with words as our guide. Our spirit sets sail through magical stories. We embark on a quest, and bound book babes, we journey. So this book club is going to start in the month of June and it's going to go through the end of the year, except for December. December is not going to have a book to read, but we're going to recap the past, yo, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's still six. I had to count. <laughs> wait, June, July. Oh yeah. I get her numbers. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's why I was like, wait, what? <laughs> if we're not doing December, that's not six. And I was like, yes, it is. We're starting in June. Um, <laughs> we're off to a great start. I don't get how time works. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> so Ooh, we should make that into a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't get how time works. Yes, time works. Because <laughs> we say, <laughs> I say that a lot. I say it all of the time. <laughs> if you would be interested in a t-shirt that says, I don't understand how time works, let us know in the comments below. So <laughs> in December, we don't have a book to read, but we are going to recap the past six months and the books that we read we really hope to like foster a community of people i mean we sit here as our little talking heads and we talk about our little favorite books but we want to hear like from everybody else everybody reads everybody has opinions you know and um not everybody wants to be on camera not everybody wants a microphone mm -hmm. but we still want to know your opinions and we want them in like a safe space where it's kind of closed off. There's no trolls scrolling by yep. and typing mean stuff just because they think it's funny. It's a controlled, safe environment in which we can read a book. We know we're all on the same track. We can, you know, we're going to just read X number of pages, well, a fourth of the book at a time, and share our thoughts. So there's hopefully not going to be any spoiler queens in there. Bobby will delete my comments as she see sees fit. <laughs> Yes. So we plan, like Kristen said, we will give you essentially the chapters to read for each week. And then what you guys will get from us as being a part of this book club is a private exclusive recap of those chapters every single week posted and uploaded on our Buy Us a Coffee page. So the link is down below in, in the description so you can follow it there, kind of check everything out. Um, I also have a little blurb to show you how to use the site and how to get get on to buy me a coffee and join. So I'll pop that in right here. Check out our Unbound Book Babes Buy Us a Coffee page. You can see here that we have some different memberships, but the one that we're going to be focusing on today is actually the Unbound Book Club. So I'm very, very excited to be launching this with Kristen and you can join by following the link in our description, scrolling down on our Buy Us a Coffee page and clicking join. You can join per month for $2 at a month. So if you've already read the book for the month that we're doing, you do not have to purchase that month. You will not have the exclusive content uh, review video and discussion video that we will be doing that will be posted here exclusive to the book club members. You can also spend $20 and join us for the whole rest of the year, which we are very, very excited about. Each month we'll do a episode to discuss what book we're reading, who chose it, and all of that. Yeah, so Bobby, what's the first book coming up in June? And how, how did you find this book? Yes, so Kristen and I, for the six books that we're going to read for one one a month, uh, we each picked three. So the first book is actually one that I chose, and it's called Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucier. It has 4.04 stars on Goodreads out of just over 7,500 ratings. It is 324 pages, and it was first published in November of 2021. This... I found this book 
um, there was a video on TikTok of standalone fantasy novels to just like, because like, I have so many ongoing series. We talked about this, you know, in last week's episode. So I was not really interested in doing a book club for a long time because of my TBR. And this is kind of how I settled on like feeling okay enough to do a book club was doing standalones. So I had been <laughs> looking, <laughs> so I had been looking and I was like, oh, this sounds really interesting. And I'll be a hundred percent honest. A lot of it was having to do with the cover of the book because I go in <laughs> blind to books and I, so I was like, oh, this looks like a really cool cover. Uh, so, Makia, she grew up in, or grew up on, rather, the Pacific Island of Guam, and she holds a degree in journalism and uh, library science, and she now lives in Portland, Oregon, but let me go ahead. Can you ask a silly question? Yeah. What is library science? Library science is like, um, like the Dewey Decibel System, literature, organization of literature. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Fascinating. Do you want me to Google it real quick? I can do that too. Let me just say. No, I just wanna I just wanna make random guesses. I think it's how what the temperature should be at um for optimal reading. And what makes people browse more. Ooh, and what kind of light bulbs to use. <laughs> <laughs> so it's required for librarian jobs typically really yeah that makes sense we should have a requirement yeah so it incorporates general education coursework with library and information science fundamentals wow yeah pretty cool it's an aiding degree missed opportunity for me <laughs> <laughs> don't let 18 year olds choose their life at ET, please. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Say it louder for the people in the back. <laughs> so the synopsis for the Year of the Reaper, the past never forgets. Before an ambush by enemy soldiers, Lord Cassia was an engineer's apprentice on a mission entrusted by the king. But when plague sweeps over the land, leaving countless dead and devastating the kingdom, even Cass's title cannot save him from a rotting prison cell and a merciless sickness. Three years later, Cass wants only to return to his home in the mountains and forget past horrors. But home is not what he remembers. His castle has become a refuge for the royal court, and they have brought their enemies with them. When an assassin targets those closest to the queen, Cass is drawn into a search for a killer, one that leads him to form an unexpected bond with a brilliant young historian named Lena. Lena? Lena. Cass and Lena soon realize that who is behind the attack is far less important than why. They must look into the past, following the trail of a terrible secret, one that could threaten the kingdom's newfound peace and plunge it back into war. Wow, that sounds super intense. Yes. And I'm like, oh, it's like, I'm not, it doesn't, like, he's a lord, but he almost gives off, like, a vibe that he's going to be, like, like, he's one of those lords that's, like, should have been a knight kind of thing. But, like, mm -hmm. the yeah. older sibling was on fit or died and he had to step in, but he's actually the warrior. That's the vibes it gives me. And I love that vibe. So, <laughs> so between that synopsis and those those feelings in the, um, the book cover, which I'll pop in, I was like, this is for me. Uh, it is young adult. I do not know if there's a spice level of any sort. Being young adult, I'm sure there's a romance and tension, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to how that librarian comes into the story. So <laughs> Library Sciences was a great segue. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Um, I guess we'll have to put up, we'll have to double check trigger warnings and spice levels. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I can double I check do that. that. I didn't do that for anyone. I did not either, yeah. um, but we can do that each month. So like in the Bias of Coffee, we'll make a post about the book and we can include those in the Bias of Coffee page. So yep. 
that way you can, and then see you can it. decide if you want to join us for all the books or one on one offs or yep we'd love to have you yeah so the book club does cost two dollars a month or twenty dollars a year but you do get to pick what month you want to subscribe to right so if you only wanted to follow along with four of the books out of the six you can totally do that we welcome whatever you want because we understand that some of you may have already read some of these titles other things outside of the exclusive weekly bonus uh recaps i'm also create i have already created for the first book little social media posts so that way you can post to your story or post to your uh, Instagram page, whatever you'd like. Um, the chapters that you read are already included, but then you can put your favorite quote. So and you can also use that and post your favorite quote to the comment section of the Bias the Coffee page in the book club. And we can all talk about everyone's favorite qu quote and why, and we can just share all of that um, because I love quotes in books, <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to make sure like I share my favorite little parts and pieces of the story uh, every week without, you know, in a like a hard digital format instead of just the video. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're going to join, come ready to discuss. Yeah. Come ready to share your thoughts and feelings. Yeah. Um, that'll be great. I'm very excited for that. And mm -hmm. I... I think we picked fairly obscure books. I don't think these are very popular. Yeah. What, I don't think they're very well known. And I think it'll be a really great experience to dive into some, I want to say indie authors, but I'm not totally sure if they're indie authors. I think they are. Some of them are. I'm not positive about all of them, though. I'll, I'll be completely transparent. That, that, that wasn't my motive necessarily when I was picking the book that wasn't like a hard and fast rule it was a plus right. but um I was really just curious about finding good four more star rating standalone fantasy books yep yeah. so yeah finding a standalone fantasy book is really difficult it's so exhausting because <laughs> <laughs> I actually it's had a full-time job <laughs> it is because I had picked <laughs> For my second pick, which would be the month of August, I actually had to change it because I found out that there was a second book coming out for my original pick. And I was like, why was this included in a standalone? Like, why did it say standalone on it then? Um, yeah. Anyways, I mean, <laughs> doesn't matter. I was doing more research and I figured it out and so I, I changed it. And I'm actually excited because I changed it to something that I'm very excited to to read. So Yeah. I'm excited. So that'll start June first. Yes. So hurry up. Scramble through your TBR so you can join us. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are interested in joining our Unbound Book Club, please follow the link in the description box below. We'll be very excited to have you um, and engage with you in kind of this really cool uh, private uh, space. So uh, until next time, keep reading. <laughs>